Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of, T of the TCC CTC Link vlog. Uh, in this episode we've got a number of topics we want to cover. Uh, number one, uh, I want to congratulate our episode 4 winner. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about our found the foundation decision documents that have just recently been released. And I have a request uh, for some help in gathering some information from the campus community. And then finally we have an interview with uh, Steve Ashpole and Drake regarding their experiences in the BPA sessions. So to start off, I just want to congratulate Lori Harmon uh, for being episode four, uh, the episode four contest winner. And she's been hosting Link uh, down in Building 19 for the last couple of weeks. And uh, on Monday, I'll be releasing a new question and we'll see if we can find Link a new home. So congratulations, Lori. Uh, secondly, uh, the foundation decision documents, um, the drafts of those documents anyway, have been released by the state CTC Link team and they're hosted on the CTC Link website. And I don't know if you recall, but back in May, uh, we had Foundation Decision uh, WebEx sessions, and the state team uh, collected all the feedback from those sessions, and they've made these draft documents uh, to help inform the configuration process of PeopleSoft. Um, so uh, it's a good idea for folks to kind of take a look at those documents. Uh, and if you have any feedback, you know, let me know, and I'll be sure to pass that along. Uh, or if you have contact with uh, the state uh, subject matter experts, you can pass that information along to them as well. But let me show you how you can access that information. So on the state board uh, website, uh, you just click the CTC link, link on the front page. And on the left hand side in the menu, there's a college resources section. And in that college resources section is a foundation decisions uh, link. And you just click on that link and you'll see that there are um, different documents and they're grouped by the pillars, the various pillars within PeopleSoft. Uh, so the campus solutions, finance, and human capital management. And there's a series of documents in, uh, listed under each of those pillars. And they're in draft form because uh, they're still looking for some feedback from folks from around the state um, so that they can uh, finalize these and then move to the configuration uh, process. So if you happen to take a look at these and you have any questions or comments, please send them my way and I'll be happy to report on up to the state group. Um, so next, I uh, wanted to just, uh, I have a request for some uh, help on gathering some information. Um, I'm trying to track down uh, various uh, departments maybe that, are, that have been collecting data uh, from other sources and supplementing the legacy data with this information. Uh, so an example that I've been using is in the nursing department. Um, they collect uh, immunization information and they collect uh, information about licensing and certifications uh, and they, and they uh, supplement uh, legacy information so that they can run reports on students and make sure that they have all the required documentation that they need. Um, so if, if anybody out there happens to be collecting data through SurveyMonkey or some other third party tool and kind of using that to, to connect uh, legacy data in some fashion uh, for reporting purposes or just, uh, just to see um, information about students in a different way because I know that the legacy environment with the 30 plus years that we've been using it, um, you know, the, the data needs have changed and so we've had to kind of develop some workarounds. But my goal here is to, is to determine these different uh, um, data collection mechanisms that people have been using and make sure that the data that's being collected can be mapped into the PeopleSoft environment and that we can get some of that data pushed in to PeopleSoft during the conversion process. Uh, that way we can uh, you know, continue collecting that data but within PeopleSoft and have some of that historical data as well. Uh, so I want to just make sure that you know on, on our go live date August 11, uh, 20, 2014 that we have all the, the data in there that we need um, so we can keep uh, running smoothly on go live. So, so if, you, if you have any questions about that uh, or need some clarification, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, or if you know that you're using some, some uh, other data collection mechanisms that you kind of tie to the legacy system, uh, let me know that too and we can talk about uh, how I can help you kind of map that to the PeopleSoft environment. Uh, so that's it for this uh, part of episode five and uh, the next part is my interview with uh, Steve and Drake. 